Hey, it's Brad with StarkAthletes.com, bringing you another video blog to empower young athletes. Today I want to talk about the effects of dehydration on performance. A good friend of mine forwarded me an email that's very involved in young athletes' lives on the new tips and rules of dehydration and hydration. And the article is all, all about trying to disprove that dehydration has an effect on performance. So they threw out some tests that were done in regards to dehydration, dehydrated athletes and their performance. And they summed up performance of an athlete by endurance running. So this whole article was done on there was no effect on the ability of an athlete to run from an endurance standpoint. So therefore, all the myths out there are just lies. You shouldn't have to stay hydrated. You shouldn't hydrate yourself beforehand. You should just hydrate when you start to be thirsty. I totally disagree with that. So I went in and did some research. I believe athletes should stay hydrated ahead of time. If you get to the point where you're thirsty, you're screwed. It means you're massively dehydrated. So I found some research that proved my point. Most athletes are not endurance athletes. As a matter of fact, 95% of all athletes are anaerobic based athletes, not aerobic based athletes. So how can you say endurance running is the overall encompassing of performance? I found a piece of research that showed male athletes, they were tested on a bench press. Maximal strength, which is a very common strength used in a large percentage of sports, was severely affected by dehydration. As a matter of fact, if they were less than 2% dehydrated, it had an effect of 5.6% decrease in their maximal strength production on a bench press. That's a big deal. 2% dehydration is a, a small, minute amount. So if only 2% dehydration affects you by 5.6% decrease in maximal strength, what happens when you're 10% dehydrated, 15% dehydrated? Start running the numbers. You are not very powerful. So if you want my advice on hydration, stay hydrated ahead of time. A simple tip, drink half your body weight in ounces of water plus 20%. When you train, you should weigh the same at the end of your workout as you did in the beginning of your workout by managing your ability not to lose body water as you trained, okay? So if you're lighter than you were at the end of the workout from the beginning of the workout, you're not drinking enough water while you train. So that's my advice on hydration. And remember, the empowered athlete is the dominating athlete. Take care. The coolest little gym in America.